I've been six years in the military, 10 years uh, as a correction officer at Rikers Island. Uh, and then I came, then I decided to go back to school, completed my uh, degrees, became a counselor. I've been at Dean Pruitt Scale for approximately 17 years total, uh, 20 years in the school system. Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all today? To counsel these kids, it, it, it's dependent on, on their needs. I don't have any bad students. I've got students that made a mistake. They got caught in the process. So therefore, I don't consider me having any bad students whatsoever. Uh, this is for long-term suspended students that were recommended uh, uh, and assigned here. I think that this is uh, a calling. It's more than just a job, it's a calling. Only Pacific people uh, uh, would understand. Even one student coming back years later saying that you helped him or her graduate or something of that nature mean, means the world to you. It makes your heart feel good. Uh, I hate to leave the students that, that, uh, that are presently here, but I know that most of them will go forth and, and uh, make me proud of them. Okay. To my colleagues, as well as to the students here, I love you, I will always think about you and cherish you, and I'm just a hop, skip, and a jump away. I've worked at Southeast Middle for uh, 25 years. My job is to clean up after the children, the teachers, um, and just anything the school needs me to do. I enjoy taking care of the school, and I also enjoy the teachers and the conversations we have when I'm cleaning their rooms. I love the kids. I enjoy the, them. They're, they're the reason why I come to work every day because I want the school to be clean for them. Schools, to me, they're a great place to work. They need somebody that cares and wants to um, come in and clean and take care of it. And a lot of people don't know that. It's gonna be hard for me to retire. Um, letting go of this school uh, is gonna be the hardest part, but um, I've got a grandbaby now and my daughter, she needs me at times when daycare is closed, and she's not getting, she's two years old, and I want to spend time with her, and I also want to be able to help my daughter out. I'd like to tell the folks at Southeast Middle School that they are the most wonderful, caring group of teachers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, and custodians, and my job wouldn't have been as easy as it is without all of them because, and the principals, they're wonderful. And I just want to thank all of them uh, for being so good to me over the years and appreciating me like they do. I've been teaching 30 years. I decided to go into teaching when I was in ninth grade. And during that time, ninth grade was still junior high, it wasn't high school yet. And I had a teacher in my, in my ninth grade year and she was just 23 years old. So she was young and she was cool and her name was Miss P. I'm like, I wanna be like Miss P when I grow up. I wanna be a young teacher in the classroom. And so that really inspired me. So by ninth grade, I knew what I wanted to do because of that one teacher. <laughs> Where did we say polar bears live? My favorite part is seeing remember. that light bulb come you on with students. Um, some of my little guys, especially now with COVID and the loss of learning, but and the group I have this year, this is the group that went out in kindergarten. So they did not get a full kindergarten year. They came back maybe mid-year, a little earlier first grade, but not a full first grade year. So this is their very first year of a full year of in-classroom teaching. And um, yeah, we saw some learning loss, but those light bulbs have come on and that excites me. I love Pierce, I like the community, I love the parents, the staff. We've had great principals and assistant principals here. It's just a very pull you into the family type environment and the parents are awesome. It's been a long ride. At times it was bumpy, but it's been a good ride. It really has. I love the kids. I love working with the children. 
Let's say my retirement has nothing to do with them. For me, it was just time. But um, it has been a good ride. It has. I've enjoyed my 30 years with the little ones, the little people. I started out teaching math and biology. Um, in, in my interview, they asked what I could teach, and I said I can teach anything. So they decided that math and biology were two good things to try me out at. I've been working with the district for 34 and a half years. I uh, started out as an athletic, athletic trainer and teacher at Andrews High School. Then went to Eastern Gilbert High School where I was athletic trainer, then athletic director, then assistant principal. And then I moved to this position as director of athletics in 2008. So growing up, I was not an athlete. Um, I did play baseball. I wasn't very good at it. Um, I, I will admit that. Um, I, I did love the game, but I just ended up, I wasn't very good at it. Um, I tended more towards that athletic training side, uh, the support side of athletics. Um, but there's just something about athletics and in, it, in its purest form that is just very satisfying to watch and to, especially the moments when teams are do great things, whether it's winning a state championship or even in a loss, if, if, there was, if it was just a great game, to, to see the competitiveness uh, and the true nature of what sports ought to be, to just have, get some satisfaction out of that. It's just, that's kind of what draws me to it. As far as plans after retirement, there's um, a few people know that I'm a baker. Um, I, I bake a, a, a cookie or a cupcake or two. So there may be some of that in, in, in the future, but it's not the immediate future. It's just something that's kind of on the radar is I might try and find something to do with that. Um, the, the only other concrete thing is my son is in the Air Force. Um, he's uh, currently stationed in Alaska. And the, so the only official thing I have to do is go visit my son in Alaska and spend a week with him uh, doing that. Other than that, the next several months are gonna be probably a whole lot of yard work. <laughs> um, and whatever the honeydew list is, um, that's what I'm going to do for the next few months.